नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं नमन प्रेजोटेक से आज हम आपके लिए पगार बुक पे एक वीडियो लेके आए हैं जिसमें आपको आज हम दिखाएंगे कि कैसे लॉगिन करते हैं और आपके जितने भी मतलब कि स्टाफ यूजर्स हैं वो अटेंडेंस कैसे मैनेज करें बेसिकली एक क्लाउड बेस्ड पेरोल सॉफ्टवेयर है जिसमें आपके मतलब जितने भी आपके एम्प्लॉयज़ हैं वो कैसे मतलब सैलरी स्लिप ऑटोमेटिक कलेक्ट कर सकते हैं राइट right. और जिसमें आपका मतलब अटेंडेंस कैसे हम फेस के द्वारा फेस डिटेक्शन के द्वारा पंचिंग कर सकते हैं राइट right. वो हम आपको इस पूरी वीडियो में आपको दिखाएंगे वेलकम टू पगार बुक इन दिस वीडियो विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू यूज पगार बुक्स डेस्कटॉप ऐप सो करंटली वी आर इन स्टाफ सेक्शन यू कैन सी एड स्टाफ बटन ओवर यर इफ यू क्लिक ऑन दिस यूल सी दिस विंडो फ्रॉम एयर यू कैन एड रेगुलर स्टाफ एंड कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल स्टाफ ऑल्सो यू कैन एड स्टाफ इन अ बल्क If you are deducting uh, PF, ESIC, etc., then uh, you can go with uh, regular staff, or else you can go with contractual staff. Now we'll see how to add staff. We need to click on this tab. How to add contractual staff? We need to click on this Add One Staff tab. Then we need to enter staff's name, then staff's phone number. Then we'll click on Continue. then we need to select type of payment monthly work basis daily basis hourly basis or weekly basis then according to staff type we need to enter his salary then we need to select his salary cycle salary cycle is nothing but the date on which uh, date he gets paid for example he gets paid on first of each month then we can go with one to one and then if there is any opening balance like uh, if uh, you have paid any advance amount uh, you can enter that amount over here or else if there is any outstanding balance outstanding payment then in that case you need to click on the spending tab then enter that particular amount and if there is nothing no advance no pending then uh, you can skip this step and after that need to click on this create staff tab so this is how we can create monthly staff profile like this you can create staffs profile If you click on this bulk add via form, this form will be there. Then you can add monthly staff, daily staff, hourly staff, work basis, and weekly staff according to your convenience. In staff section, you'll see all the staff members' profile you have added in uh, your business profile. So, for example, if you click on this Mahesh monthly staff, his mobile number will be visible over here. Then his type salary will be visible. then there are multiple tabs summary attendance payments pay slip overtime allowance bonus deductions loan so if you want to make any changes or make an any entry then you need to click on that particular tab for example i want to make changes in attendance then i will click on this attendance tab then from here i can make any changes in attendance same goes with payment tab from here we can add any payment entry we can download pay slip from here we can add overtime allowance bonus then uh, if there is any deduction entry then same goes with loan if you click on this edit details tab you can edit staff profile details then there is option called bulk payment from here you can pay online in a bulk or else you can make offline payment entry save payment entry if you have activated online payments then you can uh, use this feature or else you can use this offline payment entry feature save payment entry if you click on this this window will come so according to the staff's amount you have paid you, uh, you need to enter uh, those details like amount and if there is any note then after that you need to click on this save entry tab then there is a tab called view overall report from here you can download payments and attendance overall report you can change cycle from your current cycle or previous cycle then report section over here you can see daily summary salary breakup you can change month then you can change date from here in daily summary uh, you will be able to see you paid and you took amounts then staff payment summary will be visible over here then you can change month then you can download staff payment summary then in payments log you will be able to see all payment entries uh, you have made in staff's profile here also you can change month and uh, download payment log report then in loan summary you will be able to see staff name total loan paid amount and pending amount you can download loan summary also then 
the last option is attendance summary you can see staff details according to the staff type over here monthly staff then hourly staff hari ganesh like this you can see attendance summary over here or else you can download it from here you can change month from here if you click on this attendance tab you can make changes on a daily basis total staff is 6 and other details will be visible over here you can see all staff profiles over here according to their attendance you can make changes in their profile then if you want to download daily attendance report you can download it from here if you click on this settings tab your settings will be visible over here attendance settings auto attendance or manual attendance in manual attendance there are three options first one is manual attendance where uh, uh, there is no staff access then another one is staff attendance with location and the third one is staff attendance with selfie and location if you click on this save and continue staff list will be visible over here then if you enter staff's phone number and click on save then you can give them access to mark their own attendance with selfie and location access then you can set weekly holiday from here you can uh, turn on or off this feature which will trigger SMS to staff whenever you make changes in attendance or make any payment entry. Then there is a tracking track out feature for all staff. Uh, benefit of this feature is uh, you can maintain in time and out time of all staff members. In cash book, you can manage your cash flow. You can uh, record cash in and cash out. You just need to click on this add entry tab. You can select transaction type if you have paid a certain amount uh, then you can click on this you pay tab enter the name then amount and then description then in date section you can select the date and then after that we'll click on save like this you can maintain your cash flow and then if you have received any amount then you can click on this youtube tab enter name enter amount and then description we will click on save you can select the date also for example you have received this on 10th may you can see entries according to dates if you click on this you can edit it or delete it you can see total paid amount and total received amount over here you can download cash book report from here so like this you can maintain your cash flow you can record your cash in and cash out in cash book now we'll see how online payments can be done so we have added Mohan's account details and Ramesh account details we need to enter amount over here for example I am paying them 100 100 rupees and, and then if there is a note we can write that over here after that need to click on this pay online tab we need to confirm this Mohan 100 Ramesh 100 continue to pay then UPI net banking then uh, we'll select whichever is suitable for me we'll click on this so i have paid ramesh 100 success mohan 100 success you can check details over here and if there is any error or failure in payments you can reach out to these numbers and you need to share this transaction id with them same goes with this transaction also there is a transaction id and then if you have any query you can reach out to these numbers so this is how you can pay in a bulk to your staff members in this profile section we can edit business profile details uh, from here you can install pagar books desktop app on your desktop then uh, you can edit your name then in preferences you can manage your multiple businesses you can add new business or delete any uh, old business profile then you can turn on or off whatsapp notifications and daily sms report feature then in business settings you can change your business name in business bank account details you can provide business bank account details to get instant refunds in the case of payout failures then after that you can change monthly calculation from your calendar month or every month 30 days then salary structure templates from here you can add uh, salary structure template or create any salary structure template according to your requirements so this is earning section where you can see basic plus da 
HRA, medical allowance, special allowance. If you click on this add more tab, there are more options. You can select uh, whichever you want or you can deselect if you don't want that option. Then after that, you can add any custom uh, option in earning section. Same goes with deduction. Three deductions are visible over here. Provident fund, ESI and professional tax. In provident fund, you can select 12% variable or 1800 fixed. In PF settings, you can select you can select components to include in PF calculation like this. Then if you click on this add more tab, you can select or deselect uh, any component according to your requirements or else you can add any custom deduction from here. Then in employers contribution, uh, you'll see provident fund ESI health insurance. If you click on this add more tab, uh, you can select this or deselect or add any custom component in this also. Then after that, you need to click on this save tab. Like this, you can create salary structure template. You can edit it again or else you can delete it from here. Now we'll see how to add regular staff after creation of salary structure template. We'll click on this add staff tab. Then we'll click on this add one staff tab. Then we need to enter basic details of staff like name and phone number. If you want, you can allow these settings attendance with location and selfie. Then in salary settings, you'll see salary cycle in salary structure template. You can select whatever salary structure template you have created. Then in opening balance, you can uh, enter any advance or pending amount. Then we'll click on next. Then in basic plus DA, then HRA, then medical allowance, then special allowance. If you click on this add more tab, you can include or exclude any component according to your requirements. You can delete it uh, any component uh, from here. Same goes with deductions. You'll see provident fund settings over here. 12% variable or 1800 fixed. If you click on this PF settings tab, uh, you can include or exclude uh, components in PF calculation. So like this, you can include any uh, component in PF calculation and we'll click on save. Then if you click on this add more tab, you can include or exclude any component in deductions. Then you can add any custom entry in deduction section. Then you'll see gross pay total earnings 19,000 per month, then net pay in hand 17,417.50 per month. Employers contribution will be visible over here. Then you can select this or deselect this. ESIC will be visible over here. If there is any health insurance, you can enter that amount over here. For example, 2000 are for health insurance, for example. Then if you click on this add more tab, you can add any custom entry from here and then cl we'll click on save. Then CTC gross pay plus contributions will be visible over here. 23,057.50 per month. Then after this, you need to click on this onboard staff tab. So like this, you can add regular staff in your business profile. Then admin settings, you can add new admin from here. You need to enter his name, enter his phone number, and then after that, you can assign specific business profile to him. Then only he can uh, access that particular profile as an admin. Or else you can delete any admin profile from here. Then in manager settings, you can add uh, any manager. You can assign manager role to one of your staff member. You just need to click on his name then uh, click on save manager like this you can add manager in your business profile and if you click on this tab again you can see uh, manager profile over here if you click on this manage tab you can delete it from here or else you can add new manager from here you need to select any staff's name and then click on save tab then you can select business holiday for your entire business profile after that, there are attendance settings. You can edit it from here. Auto attendance or manual attendance. In manual attendance, there are three options. You can select manual attendance where there is no staff access. After that, staff attendance with location. 
where staff will get access to mark their own attendance with location only and the third option is staff attendance with selfie and location when you select this attendance setting staff will get access to mark their own attendance with selfie and location we'll click on save and continue after that you can select staff members to whom you want to give access to mark their own attendance with selfie and location then we'll click on confirm now we'll see how staff members can mark their own attendance with selfie and location now we'll see how we can give access to staff members to mark their own attendance with selfie and location first in attendance settings we'll change these settings we'll select this staff attendance with selfie and location we'll click on save and continue i have selected these two profiles so these uh, two staff members will get access to mark their own attendance with selfie and location we'll click on confirm now we'll see how staff member can mark their own attendance with selfie and location so this is staff's login uh, you can see mark present tab over here so this staff can mark his own attendance with selfie and location access so now we'll click on mark present tab then app will open camera and we'll pick up live location so this is how your staff member can mark his own attendance with selfie and location access you can see the selfie then below that mark present text is visible 26th may wednesday and timing and below that the live location is visible we'll click on submit so like this your staff member can mark his own attendance with selfie and location access now we'll see how business owners employers can approve this attendance so now we'll see how we can approve staff's attendance with selfie and location and how we can check his selfie and location details so we are in attendance section uh, we need to go to this staff's profile so mohan has marked his own attendance with selfie and location access then to check selfie and location details we need to click on this tab so this is his selfie and this is his location date and timing after confirming this you can just click on this present tab and confirm his attendance approve his attendance so this is how your staff member can mark his own attendance with selfie and location access and you can approve the same then in staff attendance access you can see three staff members you can edit it from here you can remove any uh, staff members profile from this attendance settings and just need to click on confirm then tracking track out feature for all staff is available over here you can turn it on or off from here uh, which will help you to mark uh, in time and out time of uh, monthly staff work basis staff weekly staff and daily basis staff then in business type you can add your industry sector for example it's construction or manufacturing then we'll click on save then in biometric device you can add biometric device in your business profile if you haven't bought pagar books smart biometric device then you can just call us and book your pagar books smart biometric device which will help you to mark your staff members attendance with biometric device then you can set up that device in this business profile you can share staff app link from here you just need to select staff members uh, then you can send details on there numbers then you can upload business logo from here and same goes with address business address you can just click on this add tab enter your business address and then we'll click on save so this business logo and address will be visible in salary slips and all other reports then in others there is logout option आशा करता हूं दोस्तों आज की हमारी वीडियो आपको अच्छी लगी होगी अगर हमारी वीडियो आपको अच्छी लगे तो हमारी वीडियो को लाइक करें राइट और अगर किसी को पार्टनरशिप या डीलरशिप चाहिए हो पगार बुक का या किसी को पगार बुक परचेस करना हुआ तो दिए गए नंबर पे आप कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं और अगर हमारी वीडियो आपको अच्छी लगे हो तो ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा वीडियो को शेयर करें और हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना बिल्कुल ना भूलें